Cool, man. Real fun gambling on this category. I mean, my, my movement was like kind of meh, but it's a skip. Yeah, you literally just like zip across the the gap there and end up right in front of the boss room. Yeah, better, better, better luck next time. Yep, thanks for playing. Please insert 25 cents to play again. Only way the record will be beat again is if someone hits it first try. Well, not first try, but like within probably about 30 seconds. You got to get it pretty fast with the pace that I... The, the time that I got is pretty darn good. Yeah, the metronome is to help with the setup. Yeah, I mean, there's there's like no way to like have any accurate way of timing that without a metronome. Haven't seen that before. Yeah, you probably haven't seen it before because not really people people weren't really doing it until any percent got optimized to a point where people just didn't feel like grinding the actual any percent, so they started zipping. Like the glitch has been known for probably about two weeks now, but nobody's been able to recreate it with like any degree of consistency did i download a metronome app yeah well i'm just using like a web browser like metronome just like it's literally uh what's the website metronome.us <laughs> sorry metronom.us Didn't think it would break into sub 26. I mean, when this when this glitch got discovered, I figured if it was allowed that it would inevitably break. It would inevitably get to that point, but Here we are. Not metro gnome. No, not like a garden gnome. Not like that. <laughs> hey, Mitch, what's up, buddy? I want to say thank you, but I'm still pretty damn sure that this category is never going to be a thing, so. I'm going to just try to see, just for memes, if I can get a sub-25. Because I feel like that'd be huge for YouTube, but... After that, I'm probably not going to mess with this category anymore. It's kind of a meme category, to be honest. I think the zip is just... Like, I, I mess with it literally all day today. And... I'm very certain now that it's hardware dependent. So I, I brought it up to some of the moderators. Um, we're we're kind of just like going over some data right now. And I think they're going to have a decision made within the next couple days. So 
I mean, it's probably worth running just for YouTube purposes for at least a couple days. But I'm pretty sure that, uh... Yeah, it was spicy. It takes a while to get the hang of it. I'm not even going to lie, dude. It took me like an hour to get it my first try. Did you convince it's hardware dependent? I got to a point where it literally would not work anymore. Like my macro just like stopped working after a while. I had to restart my computer before it would work again. I tried quitting out of the game. I tried reloading the area. I tried like fully restarting the game and the only thing that fixed it was restarting my computer. And I'm not about to restart my computer every time I reset a run. <laughs> like, or like every couple hours. Like I'd never be able to get a full stream in that way. Uh, this 20, this 2513 that I have is with zips. Without zips, I have a 2724. Yeah, I'm, I'm very sure that it's hardware dependent. I'm not 100%, but I'd say I'm about 95 Um, yeah, the, it, like, there's, so I, I did come up with, like, an actually, like, super, like, make sense theory, though. Because we already have a very similar issue because of, like, the whole timing issue. Um, my theory is that time, frame rate, and, how, oh, what is the other, what's the other component? Time, frame rate, and game speed are all married to each other. And as a result, even though they have logic in place to where, you know, different frame rates don't necessarily affect, you know, how fast or slow the game runs, I don't think that they intended for their game to run like absolute dog shit and cause like all of these like crazy stutters. And as a result, the game is like trying to keep pace with itself. And so when it when it misses a tick, it tries to like speed up the game to make up for it. And the thing is, it's not just like when you're when you drop down to 30 FPS and there's just like a quick like rip to have it catch up. My theory is that it's always happening. Like the game is in a constant state of like basically fluctuating between, and I don't know what the exact numbers are, but my guess is like 99 and 101 percent game speed. And because of that, that's why the that's why macros aren't working 100% consistently. Is that when you use a macro, it only works consistently when the game speed is ticking at the same rate that it was when the macro was created and working. And as soon as that changes, which can ch it, it's literally changing all the time, you're not able to get it to work again um, unless it falls within that criteria. Now there is a spectrum. I I do fully think that there's a spectrum. I don't think that it is I don't think that it is completely frame perfect. I do think that there is a range probably a couple frames, but I think the problem is that because the game speed is constantly in ever flow, like ebb and flow, using like a metronome or using a macro is not putting you directly on beat with those frames because it's constantly changing due to that fluctuation in game speed. That and and again, that's why you're able to explain or that's why I'm able to explain why it's not consistent. If it, if the game speed was constant, it, the macros would be consistent 100% of the time. That would mean it's still possible. It would just change timing or become impossible. Well, here's the thing. It's, it's obviously possible. Like we're obviously doing it, doing it in runs. I, I, I don't think whether it's possible or not is the issue. I think the real issue is can we really expect speedrunners to have to have like superhuman senses to build muscle memory for something that's constantly changing on you when you have no perceptible way as a human being to actually perceive those like 1% fluctuations in game speed. It's humanly impossible. I'm not saying that nobody could do it, but I'm saying that like the average speedrunner could definitely not fucking do that. <laughs> and so as a result, I don't think that it is realistic to expect that people 
have that kind of a like sense for something that is just not perceivable to the naked eye. So what it basically means is that even if you have a muscle memory for it, you're still taking a gamble that you're going to get the game speed that coincides with your muscle memory. I'm pretty sure I was way too fucking early here. The other issue is that not everybody has the same fluctuation. Like, that that degree of fluctuation is different for everybody because it's hardware-related. Some people have little to no fluctuation at all, and other people, it, the game just is practically unplayable. And I think for those people, they probably just won't run the game at all. But that's the thing is that that, that fluctuation is drastically different depending on the hardware you have, and even more so... It's not necessarily about whether you have a freaking 3090 and a Ryzen 9 5950X. You could, like, there's people that are running on, like, 2070s right now that are getting better performance than 3090s are right now. Like, it's, it's crazy. That, like, it's not even pay to win. It's literally just silicon lottery. Like, it is literally a gamble for everyone. And I think that just creates so many problems that it i think it's going to do a lot of damage to this game for this to be allowed that's my like if it's going to be its own category and it's going to be on like a category extension like whatever people can run it it's it's whatever like nobody it, it's going to attract a couple people i think but it, it's not going to be something that like people will really take seriously it's going to be a meme run you know what i mean but I think for it to become like mainline any percent, I think it's going to do a lot of damage to this category. There's just there's just too much that can go wrong and just completely screw people over that are like putting hours and hours and hours into playing the game well and then it comes down to you getting to the parts where you need to zip, not getting it in the first or second try and then well, thanks for playing. Better luck next time, bud. And you have to do that ten times in a run. Because instead of people, like, taking the time to optimize the run for doing all of the zips, it's literally going to be somebody's just going to do the minimum amount of zips required to get world record. And then somebody that doesn't feel like playing at a higher level will just take a gamble on another zip to try to save like 30 seconds or something instead of like learning how to do a boss fight better and i just think that that's just not really in the nature of speed running like I, I just don't think that it's that's not what i think about when i think of speed running i think about like people just do like being really good at the game and i think this is just an like it, it kind of just comes off as an excuse to not grind the game to its max potential that's just kind of what it and, and that's not like a disrespect to anybody that wants to run this category i'm just saying that's what it is and I, and I, that's very much what I see like happening is people are just going to route a bunch of zips. And eventually this category is going to have like 15 zips in it. And it's just going to be way too much RNG. I have to skip this. Bit. I didn't find it. I think, but here's the thing, like, I, I also don't think it's, like, I also don't think it's, like, completely out of line to say that we can't just, like, ban it now and then, like, open it up later if maybe performance, like, improves drastically down the road and it's still a glitch that is reproducible. Like, I, I think it's, it's definitely something that if we had better performance where the game speed's not just, like, constantly changing, I think that you could build muscle memory for it. So, I, I, I think the play is to just ban it for now. That's really all I think. Just ban it for now, and then if a major performance patch comes down the road, just allow it then. And then, you know, like, it'll, it'll be allowed for those patches. And you know what? Maybe those patches will actually be faster than this patch, and we can retire this patch eventually. I don't know. Like, I, I just feel like in its current state, it's really just not in a place where I think it's going to do any good for the community by allowing it.
I could have still been like minus five or um, yeah, like pl like plus five off of uh, some of best if I hadn't jacked up that freaking line. That line was atrocious. Beastman weapons in Ferrum. They're fantastic for bleed builds. Nice, there you go. Everybody thought bleed builds were going to be goaded for the speedrun, like when the game first came out. Everybody thought bleed builds were going to be meta. Which, I mean, they kind of are in, in current patch right now, but... Like, obviously, Horror Frost just, like, came out way ahead. I don't have to drink as long as I don't get hit by anything down here. <clears throat> Sometimes this zombie over here likes to troll. <clears throat> hey, take it easy, people person. Sorry, not a people person. Take it easy. Have a good one. What build did I start with? I started with I started as Wretch, and I ended up like evolving it into a battle mage build. No, 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 no. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, we're good. I'm not gonna lie though, I was hella scared. I thought I wasn't gonna make it. <laughs> Come on, don't fall damage me. Oh, thank God. Dude, these, these last couple attempts on the jump have been really scary here. Oh, this is so slow. This stuff's not as important as just getting the zip really quickly. I don't think I'm going to lose a ton. Maybe two. Three. Something like that. I used to think jumping might have been the play there, but now I'm not so sure. I don't think so. <clears throat> Yo, Spicy, if you're here, have you ever gotten freaking stuck in this in this rock formation right here that's like coming up the top of the elevator? Dude, it fucking sucks, man. It's like rip run. Like 10 or 15 seconds time loss, dude. It sucks, dude. You can't break out, man. Sag. They don't actually kill you till they go through all the ticks. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Yeah, yeah, this is the bloody strap. Very bloody. Right, this should be a nice quick kill. Nice. Alright, I'm trying to sort of stay like on like the right side of the rug. Seems like just barely on the right side of the rug. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I mean, it honestly could just be like completely RNG. I have no idea. Not a clue. Fidget a turn if you had. It seems torrent, whereas I'm in. There is, but I can take gathering place. Burn at my hand. 
lick my hand. Okay. A little weird, but I mean, sure. <clears throat> skipping the game right here except for the zip except for that one that was way too fucking late god damn it man it's gonna cost me a lot of time on the zip ah. yeah this is like 10 seconds maybe 12 shit man I really can't afford time loss like that if I'm being honest if I'm being honest all right nine okay that's not terrible but I really I only have an 18 second cushion which fucking blows so fucking slow god dang it man this is terrible this is so bad dude i gotta hope i get this zip quick fucking yikes man 16 second buffer yikes big yikes um hello This is four seconds slower than my last one. Very nice fight. All right, we got 30 seconds to play with. We don't even need a full break. We just need to have like a good fight for sub 25. 
All right, we're still going 30 mind. I need to ditch the metronome here in a minute. I'll do a quit out up here so I can turn it off. Shh. It's going to be like a second time loss, but I don't care. I, I, I can't stand listening to that thing for the rest of the run. Oh, nice. Insta run. Cool. Would I let Noah J react to my speedrun? I mean, I don't care who reacts to my speedrun. As long as they make it known who the speedrun belongs to. I really hope I get a good fight here, though, seriously. 24-30 would be insane. It would be super feels bad, man, to lose this run either way. I don't even care if I get if I don't get a full break. I just I just want to get a half break at the very least. I need to get these skips first try though. If I if like if I don't get either of these skips first try, I'm probably not gonna sub 25 if I don't get a full break. Right. I've, I've practiced these skips quite a bit, so I feel pretty good. Nice, first try, good. First try this skip, please. Please hook me up, dude. Please. I would love it. <clears throat> nice. Very, very nice. I lost six seconds, though. It's okay. Without a full break, it's going to be real tight. Let's just, like, really hope that we get uh, a full break. I'm going to be quiet for the rest of this run because this could be huge. Good fight. Come on, full break, please. first sub 25 let's go full break please give it to me let's fucking go let's fucking go let's fucking go world fucking first
Holy shit. Holy shit. Boom. Let's go. Jesus. World first sub 25 with the stupidest glitch ever. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Holy crap, guys. Welcome to the family, son. Yo, the Lyrian. Thank you for the brand new tier one, dude. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My gosh. That was insane. That was an actually insane run. My gosh. Welcome to the family, son. Holy shit, Sharky with the tier three. Yo, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Take that, IGN. Yeah. World first sub 25. Huge, guys. Huge. Huge. Oh my gosh. This run is insane, too. Like, obviously, Scars. the zip could be faster. Yo, Sharky with the 10 gift subs. Holy shit. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Sub 24 when? I don't know. <laughs> Sub 24 would be really hard. Sub 24 would be really, really, really hard. Holy cow, though. My goodness. Maybe we should keep zip skip after all. Nope. I'm still denouncing the glitch. I'm still denouncing the glitch. Yo, Mr. Popo with the five gifted subs. Guys, thank you so much for the gift subs. I really appreciate that. And thank you guys for all the follows too. Holy shit. You guys popped off more than I did. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's just gonna be more zips in order to get sub 24. Yeah, you're just gonna have to do a lot more zips, I think. Like, you'll have to zip to get the horse early, which saves probably like 30 seconds. You can zip for Missoula and probably save like maybe another minute. Something like that. Probably like two to three minutes. Yeah, I mean, like in theory, like if you got everything frame perfect on the first try, right? Like you'd probably be looking at like another 30 seconds faster on, on the zip I just did. So that puts you at low 24. You'd probably get another minute from the one at the beginning of the game. And then you'd get another like probably minute or so from the Ferrum warp. So... Probably about two and a half minutes, so like sub 22 would theoretically be possible if you just like went all out on the zips. All right, let's get the let's get the end game IGT. I'm pretty sure I just got an infinite load <laughs> on my... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just got an infinite load on this. Dude, what a troll. What a troll way to end the run.
Welcome to the family, son. Hey, Tads, thank you for the Prime Gaming. Yo, did you guys just level up a freaking... Did you guys just level up a level 5 hype train? Jesus Christ. Thank you, guys. Here, let me, let me just restart the game so I can get the IGT from the end. Gonna tweet at Noah. <laughs> I doubt he'll watch. I doubt he'll watch me, but I mean, if you want to, it's fine. It's cool. All right, let me let me see if I can get this to load again. Here we go. Gotta love the infinite freaking loads, man. That's that's both of my records now that have been tainted by an infinite load. Said he would react to a sub 30. Yeah, well, it's, like a bunch of people have gotten sub 30 now, though. There you go. 2437. It actually matches IGT now because, um, because of, like, the quit out at the end. So, like, so if you, like, if you get to, like, journey two or whatever and you say no and then you just alt F4 out of the game, it's not going to, like, add the two seconds at the end so i mean like i completed the game obviously so I, I guess at this point you just consider it two seconds time saved but um but like the timer ends when you get the credits so it's not like those two seconds actually count anyway but i'm gonna snip this so i can put it on the discord 